okay good good evening everyone so today we are going to discuss the tutorial session on the week 9th of the course introduction to robotics which is taken on the nptl portal so we'll discuss some of the questions and uh, like examples based on whatever is taught in the week 9th So before moving on to the question, first we will discuss some of the basics. Like uh, whenever a robot uh, moves in an environment, uh, then it has some sensor. Let's suppose this is our robot. This is our robot. So it will have some sensor. Like let's suppose this is camera sensor and this is lidar sensor and many other sensors can be like uh, lidar camera radar etc so robot is equipped with sensor to sense the environment so sensor may be lidar radar camera or anything like uh, gnss ultrasonic etc so any sensor it can be so with the sensor our robots uh, just have the like the description of the surroundings like lidar gives the point cloud data so it have the 3d point cloud structure of the surroundings like that camera gives the image data so it knows what obstacle is in the front or whatever it is so all the measurements are done by the sensor okay so measurements are done by the sensor And after the measurement, a uh, robot where it is in the world uh, map or in the local map, so there is a state of the robot. So there is three things. First is state that is denoted as x0, x1 up to xt. It is just the pose your location or the uh, velocity whatever is the state at time instant uh, 0 to t after that there is the action so action can be denoted as u1 u2 u2 ut so like what will be the robot motion at this state so that is denoted as u1 to ut after that the measurement that is done using the sensor is denoted by z1 z2 up to z t so let's suppose that x naught is the position of robot at time t naught So x naught is the position of robot at t naught. So this is our state at uh, time instant t naught. Okay. So now after taking some action, u1 robot will move uh, on to the next time instant that is at uh, next state that is at x1. So at x1. The measurement done by the robot is Z1. Okay. Now at Z1, after the measurement, uh, it will localize the robot at again at X1. So after the measurement at Z1,
the current state of robot can be derived so that is at x1 now again if we take the x and u2 then again the measurement done is z2 so this is a continuous process which robot follows uh, to get the current state and followed by the action to measure the environment at the given time state. So we can solve some of the questions. So before solving. We will see some of the concepts that formula will be used in solving the question. So the state transition probability. First we will see state transition probability. So this is given as probability of the state xt when the state of the robot from x0 to xt minus 1 is given and the action up to time stamp t is given and also the measurement up to t minus 1 is given. So we all know that uh, xt if if uh, like xt does not depending on the measurement up to t minus 1 so assuming the margo property we can directly write this as probability of xt such that x of t minus 1 is given it also does not depend uh, on the time stamp before then t minus 1 like uh, does not depends on the time stamp other than the previous time stamp okay and it depends on the previous time stamp because when it is after giving the action that is ut when the robot is at xt so first robot was at xt minus 1 after uh, giving the action ut it reaches at xt so this can be simplified and the second thing is measurement probability Measurement probability, probability such that measurement at time stamp t, t of z t, given as x 0 to t, u 1 to t, and z of 1 to t minus 1. This can be simply given as probability at z t, given at the state of the robot at x t, because the measurement does not depend upon the previous measurement and the previous action. It depends only upon the current state of the robot, where the robot is, or how the robot is rotating. So on that only the sensor will measure. So these two formulas are very important. Now you can see all the derivative, uh, all the derivations which was done in the classroom. You can directly solve the question. So here is the question, consider the operation of a base filter algorithm as described in the class. So the world consists of the state of a door, either the door is open or closed, open or shut. The robot has a single sensor that can sense the state of the door as open or shut. Like let's suppose a camera is there which derives whether the door is open or closed. So the robot has an actuator that can push open the door like it can push the door uh, if appropriate like if the pushing force is appropriate then door will open robot can also choose to do nothing like uh, 
is the robot oh sorry i was not uh, audible because my lecture series was muted okay so this formula you know like i will just repeat in a faster way so robot is equipped with the sensor like any sensor it can be maybe lidar radar or camera or anything so that sensor is used in the measurement uh, of the surrounding near the robot and after measurement the state of the robot is given that is x0 x1 uh, up to xt and when the robot is at let's suppose x0 like uh, that is the state of the robot at time 0 t0 then if a robot performs the action u1 then the robot will move on to the next state that is x1 so at x1 the robot will measure as a z1 so here you can see when robot is at x0 at the time stamp t0 after taking action u1 it moved on the state x1 and from x1 the measurement done is z1 and again when you vote that x1 it took the action u2 moved on to the position x2 and have the measurement z2 this is the way to give a state transition probability like here uh, the probability of uh, robot in the state xt at time stamp t uh, given such that x0 to t minus 1 u1 to 2 z1 to t minus 1 using markov approximation what we can do uh, this uh, xt does not depend on the x0 to x t minus 2 it depends on only the state at the previous time step and the action taken on that current time step it also does not depend upon the measurement similarly the measurement probability z t that does not depend on the action from 1 to t and also the previous measurement so we can simplify it as p of z t by x t and the remaining part you can see in the lecture so like all the other formulas and derivation so now we'll solve the first question so it is given consider the operation of a base filter algorithm as described in the class as described in the class uh, so you can uh, see the lecture of lecture at the nptl portal uh, they have already derived all the equations and all so that is used in this question so the world consists of a state of a door door can be either open or closed so open or shut the robot has a single sensor let's suppose camera which sends the state uh, of the door as open or shut the robot also has an actuator that can push the door if the force is appropriate then door will open and the robot can also choose to do nothing like robot can't do anything also if it don't want to do anything so which does not cause any change in state so if robot does not do anything then that does not cause any change in state given the information below compute the belief state after the following sequence of action and observation so these are the sequence of actions and observation which is given in this question so we have to find belief of the robot belief of x1 in this question so we will use the formulas which were taught in the classes so like the things which is given in this question is that uh, belief x0 is equal to open is 0 0.5 initially the robot believed that the door is open or closed as the equal probability of 0 0.5 that is the initial belief okay so now the sensor model um, like probability of zt is equal to open and given that xt is open is 0 0.8 and again uh, zt is closed given that st is xt is open is 0 0.2 and zt is open given xt is set is 0 0.1 and zt is set uh, uh, given that xt is equal to 30, 0 0.9 so these are the sensor model given now coming to the transition model so probability of xt is equal to open so the 
the door is open given that it was open at x t minus 1 and the action is push open is 1 because it was uh, at uh, time is t minus 1 it is open given that uh, so it is 0 when x t is equal to such for the given condition after that x t is open let's suppose that time t minus 1 it is given that door is closed and robot perform the action push open like it push the door so now the door will be open at time stamp t is 0 0.7 and door will be closed at time stamp t is 0 0.3 so we have to find the belief in this uh, question so for finding belief we have to find the belief bar that is the prediction so we can estimate belief using the belief bar so first we will find Belief bar x1 is equal to open that is equal to probability that x1 is equal to open given u1 is equal to nothing. First, let me write, then I will explain. Let's suppose uh, we have to find the belief bar that x1 is equal to open. So let's suppose that time is time t0, x0, uh, the initial belief was open. In that case, the probability x1 is equal to open and the robot did not do anything. That is, u1 is equal to nothing and x0 was open. Now, the second case is either the door was shut like it was closed before so x0 is shut so now what is the probability that x1 is equal to open after robot has done nothing and x0 was shut so for this we will use the things given in this question so we will put in this so probability that x1 is equal to open u2 is uh, we will use everything from this whatever is the value given in this question Here, x1 is equal to open and uh, u1 is nothing and xt minus 1 is open so this value is given as 1 so this value is 1 and believe x0 is equal to open is 0 0.5 here it is given and x0 is that is also 0 0.5 so it will be 1 into 0 0.5 plus this x1 is equal to open u1 is equal to nothing x0 is shut so xt is equal to open and uh, xt minus 1 is see x1 is equal to open In this question, it will be x not is equal to set. So, this is the case of either these two. So, x not is equal to set, x1 is open. So this will be 0 0.7 into 0 0.5. Okay, in this question it is given that uh, the, at the previous state x naught was set.
and belief of x naught that is equal to 0 0.5 so this will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.35 that is equal to 0 0.85 Now again, belief of x1 is equal to sat is given as p of x1 is equal to sat given that u1 is equal to nothing. It is this term will be zero because see in this question it is not it is given this is push. Let's suppose x naught. Uh, let's take an example at t naught when x naught is equal to such. The door was closed and now the robot did not do anything. It did not push the door. It was u one is nothing here. U n is push. So we did not do nothing, it did not do anything, then obviously at x1 it will be shut. It is given x1 it is open. So this will be 0. So this term will be 0 0.5. So belief bar x1 is equal to shut is equal to u1 nothing x0 equal to open. Plus P of X1 is equal to such such that U1 is given nothing, comma X0 is equal to such belief of X0 equal to such. So see, at the time stamp X0 it was open and the robot did not do anything. And what is the probability such? So it will be 0 into belief of x0 is equal to open is equal that is 0 0.5 plus at time stand x0 it is shut robot did not do anything at uh, probability that at x1 it will be at t1 the door will be shut only so it will be 1 into 0 0.5 so this term is also 0 0.5 so now we will see the next part so that is the measurement update So belief that x1 is equal to open is given as one a scaling factor we have used eta probability of this formula uh, you can see in the lecture also z1 is equal to set given that x1 is equal to open belief bar x1 is equal to open. So that is equal to eta, quality that z1 is equal to set and x1 is equal to open is this case. So this is 0 0.2 and belief bar that x1 is equal to open is 0 0.5. So this term will become eta into 0 0.1. Now belief such that x1 is equal to set like door is closed the belief for this is eta into probability of z1 is equal to set x1 is equal to set and belief bar of x1 is equal to set so this is given as eta into so here this is 0 0.9 and this belief bar x1 is equal to that we have found is 0 0.5. So this term will be eta into 0 0.45 and eta can be here given as summation of like all the numerator term and doing the inverse of that. So eta is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.45 of inverse. This is equal to 1 by uh, 0 
So after we divide it, we get belief of x1 is equal to open is given as 0 0.1 by 0 0.55. That is equal to, uh, let me calculate, 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.55. So this is 0 0.1818 believe that uh, x1 is equal to set is given as eta 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.55 so this will become 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.55 0 0.8181 so in this in question believe x1 is equal to open is 0 0.1818 so these two options are there sorry open is 18 so this option is there and set is 0 0.82 so this option is there so the correct option is the second last option so this was about the first question about this uh, lecture series now we will solve the another question. Which depends on this previous part. So in this question, it is saying in the previous question, suppose that robot subsequently pushes the door open and absorbs that it is open. That is U2 is equal to push open and Z2 is equal to open. So when robot pushes the door and assume that it is open, Use the belief state that you computed after Z1 to compute the belief state after Z2 is absorbed. So now this belief state was computed when the Z1 was absorbed. Now we have to compute using that part, we have to compute the belief state after Z2 is absorbed. absorbed. So at the end of the previous uh, part, end of the previous question we had belief of x1 is equal to open is 0 0.18 belief of x1 is equal to start is 0 0.82 yes So, uh, in finding belief after the measurement uh, of Z2, what we will do? First, we will uh, find the prediction step. So, the prediction step, we have to find belief bar using the same formula which is discussed in the classroom and discussed in the previous question. So, belief bar X2 is equal to open is equal to probability of x2 is equal to open such that u2 is equal to push open comma x1 is equal to open multiplied with belief of x1 is equal to open see now this time uh, belief of x1 is equal to open will use this one in the last question we have used 0 0.5 because the initial belief was given as this Okay, this was belief x naught. Now this is belief at x1. X1 means after the observation z1. After the observation z1. So plus probability of x2 is equal to open. u2 is equal to push open x1 is equal to set belief of x1 is equal to set so in this question 
uh, we have belief of x1 is equal to open. Okay, so we'll use from this here x, it is given in the terms of t, so we will put t is equal to 2. What we have to find? x2 open, u2 push open, and x1 open. x2 open, u2 push open, and x1 open. So this is 1. So here again we will use 1 into x1 open is given as 0 0.18 plus open push open and such what is the value given for this open push open such that is given as 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 into believe that x1 is such is 0 0.82 so calculate this we will get 0 0.18 this term is 0 0.7 into 0 0.82 so we will get this as Zero point five seven four zero point one eight so it will be zero point seven five four so now we will find the prediction step such that x two is such so belief bar x2 is equal to set that is p of plus p of x2 is equal to set u2 is equal to push open x1 is equal to set into belief of x1 is equal to set so now belief uh, expected belief that prediction of the belief that x at x2 is set is given as probably that x at x2 it is set and at x1 it was open plus probability that at x2 is equal to set at x1 it was set so this will be equal to set push open open which uh, how much it is given set push open open that is zero so this is zero into belief of x1 is equal to open is 0 0.18 plus set push open set what is the value given 0 0.3 into x1 is that is 0 0.82 so this will be is equal to 240 plus 6 0 0.246 the first term will become 0 second term is 0 0.246 okay so now we will use the measurement update first we predict then we after measurement, we update the predicted value. So, belief that x2 is equal to open is equal to eta. Probability of z2 is equal to open. Given that x2 is equal to open into expected belief of x2 is equal to open. So this will become eta into 2 open x2 open. So what is the value given? Z2 open and x2 open. So open open is 0 0.8 into belief bar of x2 is equal to open is we found as 0 0.754. So after multiplication we will get zero point six zero three into eta
So now we will find belief such that x2 is equal to sat is given as eta into probability such that z2 is equal to open given x2 is equal to sat multiplied with belief power of x2 is equal to sat. So this open and sat uh, what is the value given? z2 is equal to open such that x2 is set is 0.1 so, so in this question it will be eta into 0.1 into and believes bar x2 is equal to set we have found as 0.246 so this will be 0.0246 okay So now, eta is equal to inverse of 0 0.603 plus 0 0.0246. So this will become 0 0.603 plus 0 0.024. So this is equal to 1.593. So believe such that x2 is equal to open can be given as let me check whether this video is recording or not. Yeah, it's recording. So this will be equal to 1.593 into 0 0.603. So that is equal to 0 0.9608. So belief is that x2 is equal to set. We can also find using 1 minus belief x2 is equal to open. But let's find using this 1.593 into 0 0.0246. 0 0.0246 into 1.593. So this is equal to 0 0.0391. So the correct option is open is 0 0.96 and closed is 0 0.39. So that will be 0 0.04. So the correct option is the fourth last option. Okay, so this was the main concept which was taught in the class. I think this question solve all the doubt. So now we'll solve few theoretical question and uh, close the session here. Since the base filter algorithm uses uh, the entire history of observations and actions, it does not assume Markov dynamics. Actually, it assume Markov dynamics. Dynamics. Here you can see these two equations came after assuming the Markov dynamics. Markov dynamics. So, what will the correct option for that question third? So that is false because it assumed the here it assumed the Markov dynamics. So moving on to the question fourth, that is which of the following are valid state variable for a Markov model? The total distance traveled since the robot was turned on. Yes, this is the valid uh, state variable. Like how much distance the robot traveled since it was on? Is the stop light red? Yeah, this is also the onboard battery level since the last recharge action. No, this is not the mark of uh, like valid state variable. Suppose the number of times robot turned left so far. This is also so correct option is A, B, D. Given a noise free measurement model, it is possible for the robot to know exactly where it is in the state space at every instant. The option is uh, the correct option will be no. 
because we don't know how informative the sensor is. Even if there is no stochastic, the sensor might not report useful information. So, So it depends on the sensor. And how informative it is. And also depends on the algorithm developed using that sensor. So correct option is no for this. So we'll close the lecture today here only. So if you have any doubt, you can ask or you can ask in the YouTube uh, section also. YouTube comment section also. If the students were not uh, in the live lecture, can ask in the comment section of the YouTube tutorial. So thank you everyone for attending today's lecture. We can close the lecture now.